can you do raw foods without bananas and dates as your staple? <laughs> I don't know what else you're going to eat. Maybe you could get mangoes, but mangoes are seasonal. Dates you can bananas get all year round. People might go, Harley, you can be a raw foodist without dates and bananas. I just eat sprouts and wheatgrass. And it's like, I'm talking about thriving raw foodists. I'm not talk talking about like a, I don't do sport because like I just don't have the energy and I'm spiritual. I'm not talking about that raw food. I'm talking about the raw food who's actually making a change in their planet, who's doing life with passion, who's doing life with noble causes, who's living their purpose, has a purpose-driven life, who's can share that happiness with other people, inspire other people. I'm talking about that sort of raw food. It's not the, oh my God, I'm like fucked up, man. I, I need my sprouts. Kundalini's fucked me over. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about fit, thriving, healthy, loving life, raw foodist. Can you do it without bananas and dates? I don't think you can. You know what I mean? Unless you live on a jackfruit farm or you got mangoes all year round somewhere. You know what I mean? It, to, to try and avoid bananas and dates for whatever reasons people do. Some people say they make you fat, too many calories, which is like great. So you starve yourself all the way back to the, the nasty stuff. Two, they say it's too much sugar which again is a limited belief, makes people starve themselves all the way back to the nasty stuff. Or three, they're seedless hybrids and you shouldn't eat them. Again, starves them all the way back to the nasty stuff. <laughs> In the meantime, they become a burden on themselves, burden on their partner, burden on their community, burden on everyone around them, going crazy. So can you do it, can you do it without bananas and dates as your staple? In my honest opinion, no way, no way. Again, unless you live on a jackfruit farm or got mangoes year round or something like that. Definitely, my experience, people with high energy raw fooders, bananas and dates. Bananas and dates are like the rice and pasta of the raw foods movement, you know what I mean? And there's people in society who go, I don't eat starches. And they're, <laughs> they're always overweight, either really anorexic, definitely out of shape because without some carbohydrates stapling your diet, you can't train, you don't have sufficient glycogen. You know what I mean? So trying to do bananas and without trying to do raw foods without bananas and dates is like trying to eat without starches you know, in the cooked food paradigm in the you know, standard world. You know what I mean? So you see, the fittest, healthiest people in society are eating starch-based diets. The fittest, healthiest people in the raw food scene are eating bananas and date-based diets. You know what I mean? It's carbohydrate, high carb, low fat. Regardless of what you eat, even if you're eating Big Macs, or whatever, high carb, low fat is going to work a lot better than low carb, high fat. I hope that makes sense. Rewind it if it doesn't. It's pretty simple stuff. So a lot of people say, I don't like bananas. And it's like, you obviously don't like bananas because you wouldn't be in the situation you're now if you did like bananas. Because if you like bananas, you wouldn't want to eat all the other crap that's making you feel sick, look shit, feel fat, whatever, perform like you're fat. Learn to like bananas. Like, I didn't like sport initially because I was always dehydrated, undercarbed, underslept. So sport for me was like, you know, freaking out. I love sport now. Yeah, sport is like what I live for. You know, riding my bike, going for a jog, bit of kickboxing, having fun with my mates, fun with myself, whatever, fun in nature. I live for that, you know, moving the body. I mean, human movement's a gift, you know, the gift of movement is so, anyone can experience that, you know what I mean? And people say, I, I don't like dates. Like, someone said, I read a book somewhere that said, don't eat too much dates. Yeah, don't eat them if they're dry, it might be a bit heavy on your system, especially if you're dehydrated. What you'll find is people who say, don't eat dates, also there's people who say, don't drink water. So what you can do is start drinking water, starting dates, and or start making Daterade. What the fuck is Daterade? Dates, get rid of the Gatorade, get rid of the Powerade, get the dates, get the water, put them in, blend them up. That's your Daterade. And get a two pounds of dates or a kilo of dates with half a gallon or two quarts of water or two liters of water. Blend them up, put it in a big glass bottle, take it to work with you, boom, boom. 3,000 calorie breakfast or lunch, sorted. Easy. So that takes away the whole equation of, you know, dates are too concentrated or don't have enough water. Just mix them with water. Easy. You bring them back to their fresh state. Sweet. So dates so dates are great because you can almost get them anywhere in the world. You know what I mean? If I couldn't have dates from bananas, there's no way I'd be a raw foodist. I mean, I'd be some, like, dude that would just sit around, you know, no fitness, no drive, no passion, no audience, just going, hey, um, um, Eat some grass today. Chlorophyll rich nutrients helps you balance your body because chlorophyll is like it's like hemoglobin, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's like boring. Keep your life sweet and juicy. Be like a chimp. Act like a monkey. Be a crazy bonobo. 
Eat bananas and dates, man, because that is your fuel. That's the rice and pasta of the raw foods lifestyle. So another great thing to do with the power of the internet is go through forums and look up people who are dissing or saying no to bananas and dates and give an email a year later or look for someone who's a year ago who's saying that and ask them today, what are you doing? What's your beliefs? How are you feeling? Are you getting results? Are you meeting your goals? Ask them. Well, I've done that before and I'll find people who are <laughs> saying no bananas and dates are back eating the nasty stuff and dealing with that. They're not having the vibrancy and energy that they were promised on a raw food lifestyle. They're less fit than they were or they're just totally blown out or just gone AWOL. They are back on stimulants like coffee or cacao or they're you know, eating a lot of refined sugar like honey. I mean, dates blended, it's just like honey, but it's got fiber and doesn't have all the negative effects of honey, like the acids, the possible infection of botulism, the, you know, all those allergic pollens like salvation, jane, poison, ivy, and all those things in the honey there. Why well, give honeybees sugar water, take their honey, eat that. Let's just eat the fruit. Let's have the bees come over and pollinate the fruit trees. Let's just eat the fruit and keep that cycle going instead of just ignoring the fruit eating this refined sugar, getting teeth problems, digestive problems, whatever problems, and then go, oh, I don't know, I think maybe it's the, 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 the celery I ate. It's like, no, it's the honey, it's the refined sugar, fuck it off, get rid of it, give it back to the bees, it's bee vomit anyway. Let's eat the fruit, fruit's more fun. So that's another good thing. People, you'll read about it, bananas and dates are bad, you chase them up six months, one year later, boom, they're just like, they're in the rut still, they're in that rut. So having a paranoia about bananas and dates is going to, drive you into this rut down here and you're going to be stuck in that rut. The only way to get out is to get back on bananas and dates, get enough carbs, hook yourself over the edge and then just start cruising, cruising, cruising for a bruised banana. So there you go. Ask people what they've done and ask them where they're at. Ask them what they eat. A lot of people who aren't eating bananas and dates, so they're getting a carbohydrate cut from elsewhere, honey or rice, pasta, and that's fine doesn't make them bad people, but it's very good to see, ask people, so what else are you doing? You know what I mean? How are you meeting your carbohydrate requirements? What else do you eat? How are you going? How do you feel? How's your performance? Versus just blindly following one little uh, suggestion, get the whole package, the whole picture. It's like someone says, Harley, I don't, I don't believe in running in running shoes. Fine. How fast do you run? Do you get injuries? You know, do you feel you can get better? You know what I mean? Versus just taking my shoes off and throwing them away. So I ask these people, they're getting shin splints, they're getting a lot of injuries, they're running very slow, they're not actually running, they're jogging. And that's fine, that's making bad people, but if you want to get results, find the people who are getting those results and take advice from them versus blindly following someone you don't even know much about, following their suggestions, you know what I mean? Hope that makes sense. Bananas and dates.